Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how we can uh, replicate an animation. So uh, before we start I just want to add that uh, this is the very basic so we just go through the logic how to replicate. So first let's search for an animation like in sitting down or let's knee down just go through the download, go to Q and click without skin and let's download this. So I have one test here, just um, download this, I will override my yes and here I'm gonna import the new model and like this, the mail 001. So we have it in. Next up, um, we prepare our third person character to actually play this um, animation. Uh, the first thing we have to do is uh, to actually make a very boolean, so which is is sitting question mark. And the next thing is a key to activate this animation, which will be C. And from this, we will write flip flop this and first we can just set this to true here and set this to false here so uh, yeah it actually makes something so in our animation blueprint which is this one um, in the event graph we want to get from the pawn owner to currently pawn owner the uh, third person character we want to cast to it and from this one we want to get the, the setting variable and make it here into a new variable it's called also a setting question mark press control on this uh, pin here and plug it in there and combine those two together and next up let's start our animation by go to the anim graph here and the default one and Make a new state which will be sit. Whoops, sit like this, and of course it needs the way back like this. To go into this animation, we want to get a sitting true, and to go out of this, is sitting needs to be not true. Make it like this, and then in the sit. Um, yeah, state. We actually want our our kneeing down or sit down animation to be played. Uh, remove the loop here and save. So now I just make this zero. That uh, one. Um, you can see that if I press C, the animation plays. And the actual problem now is, oops, it is not replicated to the clients or either to the server. So if server presses C, he can see it, but the client not. If the client press C, he can see it, but the server not. So to actually remove this one, we need to make some uh, custom events which executes on different machines. So first we get a custom event, uh, which we call tell the clients to start, copy and paste this one and call this one called tell clients to stop start and stop and from this we can grab those here and combine those two together next up we need to actually yeah, replicate them so here we want to run this through the server and same for this one and make sure to make it reliable <laughs> so next up we want to tell the server to start the animation so tell, whoops, at custom event, tell server to start. Uh, run on server again and reliable. And we want, whoops, this again, tell server to stop the animation. 
which will also be run on server and reliable. <coughs> and now we need a switch. A switch has authority. So grab this one. So this runs over the authority. Copy it over. And then we want from the server tell to the clients what they have to do. So get the tail clients to start and get the tail clients to stop. And let's fix this name here. And all we have now to do is to flip between um, tell the server to start, which shows what the server does and then what the clients have to do to show. So just make here tell server to start and tell server to stop. So the next very important thing is that you have to make your variables which uh, should be replicated, what means that all the clients have access to it or actually can see what happening with it, uh, need to actually replicate. So if you don't replicate this one, other variables cannot read the value of this and cannot see the animation. So now if we have two windows open, which is like this, here is the server, he sits down, you can see it here, you can also see it. So now if I go with this down, both are sitting down, and if you want to know how it is between other clients, just uh, make the window to three, then we have two clients here. Client 2 sits down, client sees, the server sees, server sits down, sit down, and all can see it. So which one do I, did I forget? This client 2, if he sits down, everyone can see it. Yeah, and actually that's it for this small tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and yeah, thanks for watching, bye.